Hey guys, it's me Will Patterson again and here is a new tutorial. Now you might have seen my logo creation thumbnail uh, for a video that I did and it had, uh, it was basically this and someone's asked for it, uh, a tutorial on how I got this chrome brush effect. Um, and I'm gonna take you through the layer styles of this and I'm gonna give it a good bash. I haven't memorized everything but um, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing with it. Uh, again because it's all in one layer style as you can see here this whole text effect is literally in one layer style and I can show you where to take off the effects and it's just black and so so what we're gonna do is just go into a new document I've just done that by going up here to a new tab and I've created my background I'm just gonna type in my text I'm just call this brushed like so maybe what, what, what font's that I like that font. Maybe we should change the font. Maybe not, actually. Keep it like that. Actually, now I'm going to change it to the one that I want. So it's all that I can. I'm just going to change the kerning because it's on minus 40 to. There we go. So I've got my uh, layer here. And it's make it big. And I'm just going to align it simply with the uh, selection that I've just made. And awesome, right? Okay, there we have it. Okay, I'm just going to go into my uh, blending options on the brush panel here by right clicking and blending options. I'll move that over here somewhere. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bevel, uh, not a bevel emboss, a gradient to get the color. So I'm going to go tick this gradient box here and I'm going to click on my gradient bar. And here we have my gradient editor. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this color stop to somewhere, something about here maybe. Maybe here, about there. So AAA. Oh, that's that's quite incidental. Okay, and then I'm going to change. I'm going to make another color stop, but I'm going to uh, copy this one by holding Alt and then moving it to the right. And then I'm going to change this color. I'm just going to move it up um, to about here, so we have another color stop. So now we have two color stops. Now the way we get the uh, chrome pattern, the way I do it anyway, is I just basically hold Alt and I take this color stop and I just move them and I copy them so I just hold alt down and I drag them and try and uh, keep them the same all the way around then I take the white off the end and then I sort of have a look at see how it looks I mean it doesn't look too bad I think that we're going to change this a bit um, the best way is just to pull them off so to change the color stop you just pull them out um, I'm going to change this color to a darker one and then that should be okay I'm just gonna move that bring that in I mean it's not gonna be exactly how it was on the other thumbnail that we did but it should be a good representation of it hopefully um, right I'm just gonna sharpen these up a little bit make them so that it's more even like so, now we have a weird sort of gradient going on, but it will give us the chrome effect. So go and press OK, uh, and that's the gradient overlay done. And then I'm just going to add a drop shadow at the back, so it gives us some definition and some depth. So on the distance, I'm going to bring it up. And then on the size, I'm going to bring it up quite a bit by holding Shift and then bringing it up. And then I'm going to Shift and tab backwards to pass it and bring that up as well. And I'm just going to keep bringing this out. Maybe not the uh, direction, but I'm just going to bring the size out a bit. I'm going to change my blend mode as well to a linear burn, which will give it really a dark. There you go. It makes it darker. So then I can just make it like so, like this. So now I have some definition on the back of it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bevel and a boss. Um, and basically, what this will do is this will create sort of a 3D effect and it'll bevel it and it will emboss it all. So that I'm going to go up to my uh, depth, I'm going to call it 100 for my depth, and then we can go down or up, we'll go up for this, so make sure your directions on up. Size, I'm going to make one, soften, I don't really want to soften it, um, but on my highlight mode, I'm just going to change this to uh, linear add, uh, or hang on, or overlay maybe, and then bring this up to about 100 on overlay. And I'll multiply and bring that down a bit. So I bring that all the way up as well, multiply. And that'll give us a cool, really reflective shine to it. Now, it doesn't look too brushed out. It seems like the white 
here is affecting it so much. So what we're going to do is first thing I'm going to do is add an outer glow, uh, change the color to a, sort of a black all the way down here. But you won't see anything change because the blend mode is on screen. So we need to go to multiply, uh, and then we need to put the spread and the size up. like so and this gives us more definition of the back and the spread we can bring down a bit to about five the opacity we can bring up or down depending on our liking to about there and that looks good um, we need to create a brush effect in the center so I'm gonna go in a glow do the same thing make it so it's black and then multiply and then we should bump the noise up now this will make it really strange you might have seen this before somewhere, but then I'm going to just uh, put the size up a bit, change the noise to about there, bring that up so the noise is reacting with it. Maybe put it on overlay because that gives it a bit of a noisier bit there. So that looks proper sort of dark metal sort of feeling. And the outer glow, we're going to actually change the opacity. Uh, down a bit the inner glow is good. That looks all right uh, We're gonna put an inner shadow in as well to emphasize these highlights So we're gonna go into inner shadow change the color to white Change the blend mode to screen and then we're gonna bring the distance up So you'll see it coming in from the left Shift down to choke bring the choke through there and then the size which will blur it out just Blur it out like so and that gives us more of a definition on the sides of it as well the drop shadow I'm going to actually decrease the opacity of this and increase the size of it as well like so and that makes it uh, give it more definition of the back but also looks cool on the back of it as well okay and we've got to look at all the other things that we've got we've got texture pattern overlay we could do a pattern overlay but there's no point because we've got a gradient so the best thing to do is to change this in a glow, but you could change the noise within it. Uh, I'm going to bump it up like so, because that looks uh, cool. It looks more noisy. It looks more sort of grungy brushed effect to it. I would press OK. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can edit this type. So it is live editable type and you can carry on editing it. And that's basically the layer style. Now, if you wanted to create uh, another um, sort of piece of writing with this exact same layer style if you want to edit it slightly all you would need to do is you would write a new layer so you go new type layer so new type right, I'm just going to change the color of this to white so you can see um, and this new type layer I'm just going to bring underneath this one here like so now you might think you have to go back into your blending options like here and then go through them all again. You don't. A really quick and easy way of doing this, and it's a cool tip to use, is to go down here into your brushed layer, open this little box up, which will, uh, sorry, press this little arrow, which will bring all the effects in. And you can do two things. You could either right click and press copy layer style, and then you could right click on the layer you want to paste on and then paste the layer style which will do it like so, which will paste everything in here into this new typeface. I'm gonna undo that for a second. Or you could, you see this little effects icon here? You can hold shift and move this to the a new type layer, which will do it automatically. And that's a quicker way of doing it. Um, now you see the text if you were to uh, replicate it or copy it onto a smaller typeface, it doesn't look too good. So what we need to do is we need to right click on the effect part here and then go down to all the way down to scale effects. Now this is really strange, but you need to work with it. So what this is, it scales it uh, to the size you want. So I'm going to scale this down uh, by using my shift and arrow keys to sort of where it looks good, and it basically makes it look better in the short term. So when you press OK. It looks like it's literally the same layer effect, but it's just scaled down a bit, so it's not as intense as the top one. So that is how I create the brush type effect in uh, Photoshop. If you like the video, 
check out my other ones. I hope you've enjoyed everything I've done here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give it a like and subscribe uh, if you want. It's absolutely free. Help me keep my content free by going to Patreon and all that. Thanks for watching and goodbye.